everybody, this is Karen Marks. All right, we got Carl. Carl, you've been volunteering, you said, since 2018 with Fish and Wildlife? With the Savannah, yes. With Savannah, okay, fantastic. And you've helped out at other wildlife refuges as well? Yes, and the Corps of Engineers, too. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then tell us what we're doing today while I film outside the window here. Uh, I'm hauling all the stuff that we're getting out of the lake over to a dump site. Okay, and so guys, what we've done is there's a harvester. Dalton today is running a machine that's removing frogs bit. It is a plant that although it may be natural in the ponds here, it has inundated Star Pond. And so we're at Pinckneyon National Wildlife Refuge, and this is a, a beautiful area. So what we're doing is we're gonna dump this frog's bit, and then they hope that they could dry it out, turn it around and use it for mulch. Uh, there's a garden over by Ibis Pond, the first pond. So this Star Pond is about a four minute walk. And, um, and look how beautiful, so we're in, basically a maritime forest and Pink Mountain has over 4,000 acres and so they have two ponds that will be rookeries, gray egrets, snow egrets, uh, little blue herons, black crown night herons, what do I left out? Ibis. Uh, oh yes the white ibis they will film, they, not film, <laughs> they will nest last and then also uh, I can't remember if I said the little blue herons but then you've got your songbirds, red, red winged blackbirds, uh, Bluebirds, they are secondary cavity nesters, so uh, Fish and Wildlife have put out the boxes for them. And so, hope, hope you, if you guys are listening to this, you can get out here and hike. You can bike ride, you can walk. Uh, no pets allowed, so you can't bring your dog, uh, but it is amazing. All right, we're signing off live. Woo! Have a great day.